Hello everyone, welcome to another pick a card reading. Today we are going to be doing how does my crush feel about me? And this is something that I actually has never done before. So we're just gonna try this out. I've set out some new crystals. So I want you guys to pick either group one, group two or group three, whatever you feel like resonates with you. And we're just gonna get right on started onto how your crush feels about you. So let's go. So first starting off with group number one, you got this gorgeous blue crystal. And let's get started. So the overall energies is the, so the overall energy is the nine of cups with rise above problems. And we also have breaking free. Feeling safe. Positive expectations. And we also have create space for new love so this is really really positive i'm definitely feeling some really strong love energy in this reading um and i feel like this is very very strong i'm getting a lot of strong foundations the number four is coming in so maybe you um may might get the message from them in like four weeks to say like oh i really like you let's go out on a date or can we like move this further that sort of thing and I'm feeling like there is something more that needs to happen before this can be completed into an actual relationship. I do feel like there is there is extreme high potential in a relationship. And I feel like with the Nine of Cups, it's almost like you're just kind of sitting there waiting for it. Like, this is so funny. I'm kind of getting this like cheeky energy that this is you. And you're kind of, you've got all these like people kind of lined up but you're only looking at this one person and it's kind of like, no, I would rather wait than have all these kind of people that I've had in the past. And these are all previous relationships where they haven't really worked out. And I'm not saying that you've had like nine previous relationships. It's almost like you've had relationships in the past and it's like it, they've, they've all happened the same way. It's like they've all kind of, um, how do I explain this? Like they've all being it all ended in the same way or they're, all, or they're all created in the same way like they're all the same sort of person kind of people who don't really care or people who didn't really give you the time of day do you know what I mean so basically you are wanting a really strong foundation with somebody and it's almost like you're waiting for the show to start so I feel like it's almost reminds me of like a curtain behind it so it's kind of like you're waiting for like the show to start sort of thing like the like the good part to start in the show and that is what's going to be happening so there's a distance between you and your crush at the moment there's like a gap I'm feeling like this is you and this is them and this is a gap in the middle that needs to be filled and I feel like time will bring you together so I'm thinking that this is an extremely possible relationship but you need to take it slowly. Please don't rush is what I'm getting. Um, let it come to you. And with positive expectations, I absolutely love this card. Like, I had this recently in the last reading that I did um, for you guys. If you want to check that out, um, I'll link it down below. That's for all singles. So you guys might want to check this out as well. In one of the groups, there was this card and it kept coming up. I think it came up twice and I just absolutely love it. It's so beautiful. It reminds me of just calmness because this this fairies in the dark and she's just kind of like sitting there waiting patiently and it just feels really calm to me and it's a safe space this relationship there's definite potential for a relationship I'm sorry if that glare is like if you can't really see it so I definitely feel like there's potential here this person does like you but they're waiting for a, the right time to release their previous emotions and bring you in so they're there and they're sitting there and they're waiting for you to yeah I don't actually know what the word is it's like I'm getting this really slow movement it's like I'm getting hmm words aren't coming out today I'm getting like a slow steady strong energy and this is really really positive how they feel about you is definitely that they like you there's a definite love in there's a definite love there it's more than like it's it's love and let's just get one more card for the overall energy for group number one please just to clarify this and when we've got rise above problems there is 
a lot of emotion going on around you too and I don't feel like it's anything negative I feel like it's just it's waiting it's this waiting game who's going to make the first move one of you is going to make the first move I don't know who it is either going to be you or them but one of you is going to make the first move and it's going to become this beautiful relationship and it's going to break you free from these emotions that have been tying you down kind of like oh I've got to wait oh when's it going to happen and it's all just going to come out all of a sudden and it's going to be you you have safety there you don't have to push yourself back from your feelings all these feelings that you've been feeling about this person have basically been true and it's, it's a safe space in this relationship so overall energy is the star and how gorgeous is that? I mean, can we just appreciate how gorgeous the star is? And can we not just appreciate this annoying Claire? <laughs> it's so annoying. So what I love about this is that both of these cards have this really pretty yellow color. The yellow is just really drawing me to it. And it's like this, this emotion that's coming up in you that hasn't been there before. It's like this relationship is really, really new. And it's, these, it's bringing up these emotions that you've never really felt before. It's like, I don't, I really don't know how to explain it. It's just like, you're peeling back a layer and it's exposing all this gorgeous new energy that you've never really been able to express. All right, got it. There hasn't been a person in your life that you've been able to express just yourself this way before. And this person is amazing. And I just got a ding on my phone because I got a text. So <laughs> there we go. So maybe you'll get a text when this person comes in. Maybe you'll get a text saying, oh, I really want to date you. I really want to have a date. Let's go on a date. I feel this way about you. This sort of thing. So there's going to be like a message. It's going to come in either through like just communication, talking or a text. So a message. So yeah, I hope that resonated with you guys. Let me know if it did. Please comment down below. I love your comments. They absolutely mean the world to me. And just thank you for being here. I, I'm doing private readings. My... Uh, five minute for five pound readings are still going on to the end of March. If you'd like a question answered, then I will do that for you. Um, I'm also doing my uh, 25 minute reading for 33 pounds. So all the information is going to be in the description below. Uh, don't forget to subscribe and I will see you all in my next video. Bye guys. Hello group number two. So you guys got amethyst and I love this crystal. It kind of reminds you of a tooth. I love it. It's so pretty. So the overall energy for you guys is the moon. New opportunity. This is the overall energy. And then you got awakening your true self. Higher consciousness. Gorgeous. That is so nice. Family harmony. And you also got yeehaw. So what I get from this is that there is some hidden emotions coming through and hmm, how they feel about you. I feel like it's all very hidden, but it's all going to come out at some point. I'm not entirely sure on the exact emotion. I feel like I need to read this card, which says yeehaw. When it comes to choosing who will be in your life, I recommend valuing their yeehaw quality above all others. Have it your way. Special orders don't upset us, the universe. Okay, right, here we go. So I actually think that this person who's in your life right now is on the fence about how they feel about you. And I think you're the one who's more in control than they are. Um, I feel like you have the choice to actually choose how you feel. And I feel like you need to have a little think about how you actually feel about this person because I feel like there's a lot of hidden emotion going on and this could be you or this could be them. But I feel like there's some emotions that you haven't really thought about yet. I'm thinking maybe do you really like this person or are you kind of choosing them because they're the only person that's there. I feel like there's a lot of positivity in this reading. There's nothing that's really telling me that there's anything bad, but there's just, oh, I'm really not sure, you know. I feel like there is maybe long distance between you two um, and it could be a while before you come together. Honestly, I feel like you could be together, but it wouldn't be a long relationship. It, it could only be like a fling or it could just be like a sexual attraction. I feel like we need another card. Let's have an overall card for this reading. So I'm a bit confused because 
I'm getting a lot of energy from your end and not a lot of energy from their end. I feel like you have gone on a really long spiritual journey. Um, I feel like recently, do you know what? I say long spiritual journey, but it feels like a really short amount of time, but very intense emotional journey. And I feel like you can see the potential in this person. And I feel like you'll be, you've been getting messages or signs about this person. So when they come up, maybe before you go on a date, you see like 444 four, four on the clock or you get like a certain number that comes up or a synchronicity. And we've got the Ace of Pentacles. So I'm feeling like there's going to be a change, a sudden change is going to come in and offer is going to come in. And this is to do with money. So can we get another... Another card just to clarify the Ace of Pentacles, please. There's a lot of bitty energy. I know that's a really strange way of explaining it. There's a lot of just a different emotions flying around. So I'm feeling like it could be a little while before you get together or before you know what's going to happen. Wait it out because there could be a surprise that you don't expect. I'm not sure what that means, but I that's just what I get. And we also got five of wands and the full. So yes, so anything could happen with this. I feel like there are some things about this person that you're just not sure about, but you're relaxed about it. I think there's endless possibilities with this and I'm not entirely sure it could work out because I'm seeing this conflict in the middle. Okay, I think I think I get it now. So this is your crush offering their option. Okay, they're offering options to you. There's a lot of options going on. It's kind of like, oh, I would want to be friends, but it'll be for like a long time before we get into a relationship. Or I want to be in a relationship, but not yet. They're being in, they're kind of controlling the situation to the point where it's like, do you know what? You're kind of deciding, do you know what? Whatever happens, happens. But I want to be happy and that's kind of my goal. Whatever this person is feeling, I feel like they are giving you options. And I think it's up to you what you decide is the right option for you. But just focus, focus on your true self and what's going to make you happy. But I definitely feel like there's going to be an option coming in. So this person likes you. But they're not sure either. A lot of confusing energy between you two. So this is a very confusing reading. I'm not going to lie to you. Look, can we just have one more card? Just to clarify this energy, please. Because you guys are in a bit of a pickle. Eight of Cups. You're walking away. They're walking away when it's not the right decision. I'm feeling like this isn't the right person you should be with. I feel like this is just a crush. And no more, if I'm honest. And I'm really sorry if that's not what you want to hear. But they're in, <laughs> they're in the deciding phase. So I feel like there is a potential for a relationship, but I can't imagine it would be for a lot of you. Some of you, yes, the potential is there, but it's a little bit on thin ice. There's not a lot of foundation going on here. So I'm sorry if this isn't what you wanted to hear, but that's what is coming through. Definitely make sure that you find, find out what the core energy of this is. And it's not just what's on the surface. Become more deeper with this person as well. Because that's when you're going to get this magical moment to decide whether you want to be with them or not. Get deep with this person um, emotionally. And that's I think that's what's going to help you. So I really hope this uh, resonated with you. If not, then you feel free to choose another group. Or if not, then feel free to choose any of my other videos. I've got quite a few love readings going on around at the moment. Thank you for being here. Um, if you'd like a private reading, they're in the description below. I'm doing an offer at the moment where my one question overall energy reading for five minutes is five pounds. And at the end of March, it will change to 11 pounds. So if you would like that, please feel free to message me on Instagram or email me at Victoria here to inspire. Thank you so much for watching. Please subscribe if you like this and I'll see you in my next video. Thank you guys. Bye. Hi group three. Thank you for being here first of all and let's see how your crush feels about you. So you got rose quartz which is the gorgeous stone. I love rose quartz. As you can tell most of my readings include rose quartz. So the overall energy is the seven of pentacles with peace of mind. Ooh, that's interesting. I'm feeling a lot of calm thinking energy going on here. And we've got making new friends vacation 
And honouring your true feelings. Okay, that's so interesting. Okay, I like this really. This seems really interesting. I'm kind of getting a lot of like intertwining, um, discovering sort of detective work going on. So I really feel like you might be stalking this person a lot, <laughs> is what I'm getting. And you've also got turn on your love light. Sometimes the best way to remain sane is to love like crazy. Works for me, the universe. That is so nice. I'm getting a very mature energy around this. So I'm definitely feeling like whoever you are, or whoever this person is, you both are very mature. Um, I'm feeling like a very adult relationship here. Even if you are not in your 20s, if you are, say, a teenager, I feel like it's, this is still a very mature energy. This could actually be someone that you actually have children with, which is very intense because they're only a crush right now. But that is what I'm getting. Um, I'm feeling like there's going to be a lot of exploration, as I said, a lot of detective work going on. It's like I can see you getting like a magnifying glass and kind of looking at all the intricate details, saying, how do they feel about me? OK, so let's kind of like stalk their profile. Let's see um, how they react to this. If I do this certain thing, um, what if I wear this certain outfit in front of them? How would they feel? And I feel like whatever you're doing, it's, it's really interesting because I feel like you you almost know how they're gonna react, but you kind of want confirmation. And I think this is really nice because this, this shows to me that you're opening yourself up to new opportunities. And this, this um, is very playful, this energy. And I feel like this person doesn't even know that you like them. Um, you've been kind of thinking how you feel and I feel like you wanna tell them how you feel, but I'm, I'm thinking that you're thinking a lot. <laughs> you're thinking a lot about how to go around this. I feel like, as I say, you're making a plan, you're making strategies. I feel like my mind keeps wandering off. So I feel like this person is very distracting to you and you will get clarification at some point. There is a potential for a romance to be here. There is a potential for a relationship. They're gonna offer you a gift and I'm not sure if you're going to take it or not. Um, it's, it depends on where you're at at the moment. I feel like this is someone you have seen, you've known for quite a while. I feel like someone, it, it might be someone in school, at work, um, at university, someone that you already know about. I don't feel like it's someone you have met online. It could be though, potentially, because I'm seeing like an almost stalking. Um, I feel like you're looking at their photos a lot kind of thinking would we would we look good together in photos <laughs> is what I'm getting this person I feel like they like you but I feel like you two need to have a nice sit down and you could be friends first before anything happens so the overall energy is the eight of wands for this and there is potential for you to become friends I actually feel like if you become friends first, it will pick up this relationship. And if, if friendship doesn't happen at the start, I don't feel like this is going to happen at all. If I'm completely honest, I know that's something you not, don't really want to hear. But I feel like you need to start the ball rolling in some sort of way. Whether you ask them out yourself or you um, message them or they message you before you message them. I feel like there is something you need to do before you to, to actually get this ball rolling. But they do like you. But I feel like you need to take your time. And there's, there's very earthy energy here. So they could be quite a, quite a slow person. So friendship would be more of security for them first. Because it will give you guys time to be around each other without that. Um, without that tension and without that pressure for being in a relationship first i don't feel like this could work if as i say if you rush it there is potential here but i'm not entirely sure if it could actually work out definitely be friends first is my advice as i say what i'm feeling is if you rush it too much everything's just going to come crashing down slow is the new fast is what i'm getting which is so strange i'm feeling like in really good flow um, if you take your time and I'm feeling like you've learned a lot recently about this person um, and you're kind of discovering where to sit in this situation it's like do I push myself forward and ask them out do I sit here do I 
ask them out? Do I let them ask me out? And the answer is slowly approach them. Intensity isn't going to be your friend is what I'm saying. Because I feel like that's happened in the past where it's become too intense and it's been all too much. But this, this relationship has potential to flourish. It really does. As I say, if you rush it, it could all come crashing down. There is a lot of things that you're carrying at the moment because you're heavily thinking about this. So if it makes you feel better, I would I would actually approach them and ask them out because I feel like you've got a lot of emotions that you're holding on to because you really want to make this work. And there is a good... I think there is a good potential that you could actually ask them out and it could work and it's just it's gonna be weight off your shoulders I feel like you need an answer so I feel like it's it's worth going to approach them and to see where that leads um and how they feel about you is they're open to it but as I say they don't want to rush anything yeah that's what I'm getting so this was another positive reading I just feel like you need to go slow I'm getting quite a heavy like I feel like my head is really heavy so I'm feeling like you need to just take it slow. But once you get it, once you start the ball rolling, say like you maybe like hint at them, that you kind of like them or that sort of thing, this is what's going to get the ball rolling. Thank you for watching. Um, if this resonated with you, please uh, comment down below. And if you would like to have a private reading with me, all the, all the information is in the description below. I'm doing five pound for five minute readings where you can answer it, where I can answer a question for you. And then that will change at the end of March. So if you want a reading, then get in quick. Um, I'm also doing 25 minute readings for £33. If you'd like to, please subscribe to my channel. And thank you so, so much for being here. I really, really appreciate it. As I say, don't forget to comment down below if this resonated. And I will see you all in my next video. Bye, guys.